Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Monday. How's everyone doing today? Let me know how the stream is coming through. I'm having a little bit of troubles with YouTube tonight, but I think I got them sorted right before the broadcast. Ah, Cardinal Sin, don't make changes to your broadcasting software right before you go live. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> It should be self-explanatory, but I was trying to get a little bit more out of tonight's broadcast, get rid of a couple of the glitches, but... I only succeeded in making it worse tonight. Not so good, guys, but uh, hopefully you guys are having a great Monday. Welcome to Tech Talk with Eric every Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. Here we go through all kinds of tech-related and just generally, you name it, anything goes here. Uh, hopefully this is coming through good, and we're going to go ahead and get started. We got a pile of people with us already. Ah, oh, who have we got? We have Harry with us, Beginners Tech, Peter's here, Gregor's here, Stephen Kiberton is here. Awesome guys, glad to see all of you. I'm just I think just trying to get the other window set up. Uh Scotty is here. Hey Scotty, how's it going? And throw the chat. Yep, we got that working. Good. I think we're almost ready to go, guys. Uh, definitely a little all over the place tonight, but I will get it sorted out. It's always a bit of a juggling act when you're doing a live broadcasting by yourself, and ah, it's a little bit of fun. All right, guys. Zach is here. Hey, Zach. Sorry, I missed you. I did see your name in the chat. We've got all kinds of people here. This is going to be a fun broadcast tonight, guys. We've got a pile of content, so I'm going to just dive right into it. Let's go. As usual, viewer questions throughout, welcome. Use that chat, guys. That's what it's there for. It's awesome. Some tech news tonight. Viewer challenge for this week. Some 3D printing. A bunch of stuff from the community of makers, hackers, you name it, everything goes. Some stuff from the shop, meaning the, my channel here on YouTube. Upcoming sneak peeks of what you can expect on the channel. Tech tip of the week. Some viewer comments. And... I think we're good. There must be something going on with the YouTube servers, guys. Sorry, I can see we've already dropped a couple of frames. It's not on my end. It's got to be the pipeline here. It's throttling my connection, but... Oh, well, sorry. We're going to have some glitches. Gnobar is here. <laughs> New name. Sorry, I didn't, didn't recognize you. Uh, cheers. Good to have you here. Let's go, guys. Some tech news this week. Russian cargo ship arrived at the ISS this week. Guys, uh, these NASA videos, the NASA YouTube channel, if you're, if you're new here as well, I, I try and share YouTube channels here so you can easily find these videos. The NASA channel, this stuff is really cool. So the docking procedure now with these unmanned resupply missions is fully broadcast and NASA puts out a video after which is quite condensed and there's a HD video outside the ISS as this thing is approaching and then the full telemetry overlays is totally cool videos really really neat stuff so check out the NASA channel to see those ah uh, do we want to talk about this um, Ahmed Mohammed so um, I'm, I'm gonna throw it up here for you guys so you guys gotta go find the Fox News coverage you can find it on this coolness channel or just about every other channel Fox did a lot of coverage of the Ahmed the boy who made the clock or disassembled the clock radio um, Fox my goodness what a crap news outlet mainstream media as you guys know I don't much care for but Fox is just garbage uh, troubled past former teacher speaks out about clock kid and they broadcasted this on all of the fox networks uh coverage of ahmed and how he was in trouble before for uh, it sounded like he actually it was kind of funny guys first off they busted him for blowing bubbles i don't know he got in trouble for school for some bubble stuff Anyway, and then they went on about he turned off a projector at school and uh, and didn't have permission and got in trouble, blah, blah, blah. It sounds like he made a TV be gone. And for any of you familiar with those, basically, it's a small, any microcontroller can do it, some IR LEDs, and it sends the off command for all the major manufacturers of anything with an infrared receiver, all TVs, everything. I'm, I'm, 
I'd put it at 80% certainty that he made a TV be gone. And if, if that's the case, and that's what their Fox News is broadcasting about this kid, uh, I like him even more now, I think. I don't know what his motives were for this whole clock thing, but uh, I, I'm starting to think that maybe this kid legitimately is a maker. And uh, yeah, anyway, Fox News, fail. This one is not news in the mainstream media but i'd like to i'm gonna i'm gonna put my neck out here guys so what this is is uh, a channel called uh w colby one and you can find it on youtube uh, 4,000 subscribers this channel i subscribe to and what he did is he took a, a bixler rc trainer plane these are from hobby king josh bixler designed it and turned it into a vtol a vertical takeoff and landing plane I think this is important because, in my opinion, and I'll put it out here, uh, within two years, uh, the, the so-called drones for using for delivery and um, stuff like that, I'm going to put it out here that those will no longer be quadcopters and you're going to see them transition to these VTOL aircraft because quadcopters, aka drones, hexacopters, whatever, use a lot of energy to maintain vertical lift. Not so good at distance. These VTOL aircraft, the vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, can get up to speed and use their wings. Uh, seeing this transitioned on a trainer aircraft, kudos to him. Uh, the Bixler is an amazing plane, and I really think this is where things are going to head. I, I would place bets on it that that is the, the mode of drone use that we're going to see the most because you can now get longer distances and extend your battery life. So uh, check out his channel and uh, check out what he made. I think, I really, really think this is the way it'll go. Um, we'll go away from quadcopters and we'll go to these VTOLs because uh, it just makes sense to me. I'll put it out there. You heard it here first. Mammoth excavation, not really uh, super tech, but just really cool. This is not far from me in Michigan and they found the skeletal remains of a mammoth in a local field and did uh, uh, some coverage on the University of Michigan YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. And you can check this out on their channel. And uh, just really neat. 15,000 years old, they roughly dated at. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, this Pretty neat to see that the, the, what was out there before us. So pretty cool stuff. Thought it was worth a share, guys. All right, guys, I, mean, uh, uh, I can see we're dropping frames. It's really, really annoying here. Hmm. Sorry about that. Oh, show must go on, right, guys? Let's go. There. Takes a second. Community announcements, guys. Big one today. Hackaday. Got my Hackaday shirt on, too. My gas sensor project has now made it into the top 10 for the 2015 Hackaday Prize. For those of you who follow me on Snapchat, you heard me mention an upcoming announcement tonight. Uh, I was notified on Friday that the judges had uh, had included me in the top 10, so it was pretty, pretty cool stuff. And uh, I'm really, really excited. The other prizes, guys, you got to check these out. There's... It's so amazing what Hackaday has done. Um, this is just the top 10, as far as I'm concerned, isn't the big news. It's the, all the rest of these projects that are now out there, free to the world, most of them, a lot of open source. Uh, they've really pushed things forward with this uh, 2015 prize. Kudos to Hackaday, and I'm really quite blessed to be in the top 10. So, uh, I have 1 in 10 odds of a trip to space, so hey, we're doing pretty good. Um, we'll see how it goes. Pretty excited, guys. Live tech shows. Uh, I mentioned this last week. I'll mention it again today. The uh, live tech shows do uh, are on the makeme.org website, top right-hand corner, and you can check out the calendar where you can tune in to tech shows all over either YouTube or any other sources. Uh, some are on their own standalone websites. Um, Want to set up a TV guide for makers and cool channels to watch, so enjoy, guys. All right, guys. Just going to catch up on the chat here real quick. Steven said on OBS is the green box flashing between green, orange, and red. Yeah, it is. 
yeah, it is. And I was, I was quite certain it was on my end, but I'm using the same settings I always did. I've checked the PC; it's running the same as it always did. So um, I, I don't understand. No bar said congratulations for the top ten. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for all the congrats. Really, really appreciate it. I'm. Uh, it's a big deal. Like, top ten in all the world. Uh, it's pretty pretty big contest i'm pretty happy so yeah definitely uh definitely blessed so nathan is here hey nathan let's carry on guys community support time pay the bills as usual remember guys click that thumbs up button share these videos it really really helps if you're not subscribed well click that subscribe button if you want to take it to the next level and i would truly appreciate anyone who does down below you can find a link to my patreon campaign you can throw a buck in the hat and all that anything that goes in there that's a monthly sponsorship goes right back to making better videos for you guys and i'm really quite happy with where the channel is headed and i truly appreciate those who do support all right guys really quick see a bunch of chat rick is here hey rick good to see you um uh steven says probably youtube leg yeah i think it is i think there, there's something really funny going on with youtube as always but we're gonna get through it guys viewer challenge for this week guys i always want to see what are you making hit me up on any of the social medias to find me on social media go to the makeme.org website and in the top corner you can find the about tab and that's where all my social media is listed you can hit me up on any of them or just use the g plus community love to see what you guys are making mike shared this week um, some shots he got of the Blood Moon Eclipse. Really, really cool. Love seeing these photos. Uh, really neat. Uh, making photography is the same as making our electronics projects. I love sharing this stuff out. I didn't have a lot of hits this week from the socials on what people are making. It's been a quiet week in making, but I did discover one other. He didn't share it directly, and I don't think he's with us yet. David Watts. He has a live stream scheduled for tomorrow, uh, 1630 Eastern Time. You can find David Watts on YouTube. On uh, Well, it's David Watts is the channel. Very easy to find. And uh, he's just getting into the live streaming, so I can't wait to add him to the calendar of live streams. And David, when you see this really like the name of your live stream what's going on i love it really really cool guys always try and share as much as i can from the community and i have one a little later for mr steven that i have missed for a long time okie dokie from the community guys this is stuff from uh youtube or anywhere else the community of makers hackers artists engineers you name it it goes here New channel, guys. Never shared this one before. I like to make stuff. Uh, perhaps you guys are subscribed. I wasn't. I stumbled across this channel and it blew me away. A guy with nearly half a million subscribers and I'd never seen it. And he makes stuff. Totally cool channel. This video uh, this week was uh, how to make a longboard with a vacuum bag. This is a longboard skateboard. Really, really cool. I loved seeing how he did it. He used the X-Carve. Uh, and then uh, uh, the CMC, CNC machine I have coming up on the channel. Um, I used it to cut out the foam and then made the form and did the vacuum uh, uh, forming. Uh, really, really cool. Loved it. Cool video, cool channel. I'm looking forward to more videos from him. Uh, I'm just going to catch up on the chat real quick, guys. Uh, I think I'm good. We are good. Let's go. Gael. So uh, Gael Langvin, he was here with us uh, one time a long time ago. That's his YouTube channel name. He is the inventor of the InMove 3D printed humanoid robot. Awesome guy and shared this out with the world. Uh, as you know, I built the arm for it and started building the head. Well, he keeps taking this thing to the next level. You got to check out this video, guys. He's got a tablet in the back of it, place to mount this, the keyboard, and InMove is now moving on a motorized base. It is uh, incredible, incredible creation. Gael, you've done a hell of a job, and thank you for sharing this with us all. Really enjoy it. 
as well on the in move another channel i subscribe to which is bob houston a really cool uh builder of the in move and he has been working on the eye mechanism and this thing is incredibly realistic guys it is one neat robot so uh bob's been working on the eyes and made an awesome video on it truly enjoyed it how to install an SSD in a laptop. This is electronfun.com, uh, another channel I subscribe to. And if you're into uh, doing mods on your laptop or want to switch over to an SSD, this is a cool video, but it wasn't what I expected. It went far beyond just swapping an SSD into a laptop, how to do other things with your existing drive and just really, really well done. Uh, it wasn't at all what I expected for a video and uh, really enjoyed it. So check it out, guys. Um, David's here. Hey, David, good to see you. Uh, how am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty good today, David. I still have a bit of that cold kicking. Uh, I'm doing good for coughing now, though. But yeah, I get, I'm coming around. He has Zach said, I just mentioned you, David. You got to go back and watch some of the. You'll have to watch the replay. Okay, Stephen Kiverton. He is here with us. This is not on YouTube, guys. I, I don't think I've ever shared Steven's Twitch channel. So Steven is a great supporter of this channel. He, I truly appreciate all the support he's given me. He's helped me in the background with uh, web problems and some file hosting and you name it, Steven's been there. He has an awesome Twitch live stream, multiple per week. And you guys should really check it out. Steven Kibberton on Twitch. And go over there and show him some love and show him some support. He doesn't do the, the streaming here on YouTube, but he does do YouTube videos. His channel name is the same, so you can find him. Check out Steven's channel on Twitch. And uh, yeah, thanks, Steven. Really appreciate all the support. And I, I wish I could catch more of your live streams, but most of the time they're during the day while I'm working. But I, I do try and just watch them in the background when I can. Okay, RC Gut. If you're into RC stuff, guys, uh, not the best of thumbnail here, RC Gut channel just cracks me up. If you're into RC of any form, you gotta be subscribed to RC Gut. They're uh, the guys in Ringaboo. They are pretty crazy and have a lot of fun with RC planes, and that's all I'll say about that. Firefighting Drone Overview Flight Test. Flight Test the channel. I've featured them so many times here I can't even count because they just do a stellar job. This week's video was the firefighting drone where they took a tricopter and set up uh, the multiple videos on this now, set up a fire extinguisher on it and used it for, um, proved the concept that they can put out a small fire with it. Totally cool. These guys are always looking for new ways to build cool new things and share it all out with us. Uh, everything they do has plans and info available so we can all recreate it. Really, really cool. Love standing behind these guys. Really love what they do. All right. Um, David said he's such a fanboy. <laughs> he's a bit of a hero. You crazy. Uh, thank you, David, for putting that link in there to Steven's channel. Really appreciate it. And David linked to Steven's YouTube as well. Really appreciate that, David. Thank you, guys. Let's carry on. Hackaday. So, um... <sighs> I, I can't say enough about Hackaday. The, these guys just do an awesome job. Well, they do have a YouTube channel as well. They're not crazy active on it, but they do put out videos. This week was the Flaming Tire Swing of Death, the Red Bull Creation Competition 2015. I didn't even know this competition was going on until I was talking to the Hacksmith um, directly. We were messaging back and forth, and he was there judging this. Um, it was in Detroit, Michigan. Really, really cool. Uh, if you're into like junkyard war stuff, check out the coverage of this uh, this competition. I, I wish I would have known more about it before. I don't know how I missed the fact that this was going on, especially since Hackaday was involved as well as Red Bull. But uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Check it out, guys. Adafruit Industries. So video this week, one of many. Um, soft Robotics with Aiden at Maker, Maker Fair. Guys, if you watch any of the live shows, 
the show and tell. Aiden is a, a, a very, very often attendee to the, the live show and tell show with these soft robotics he's making. Basically, it uses air pressure through um, custom molded rubbers and plastics to make soft robots, to make hands move and stuff like that. Aiden does an awesome job. But what I want to stress here is Adafruit, the channel and the business. I Every week I talk about Adafruit because they deserve it. And what they're doing is incredible. So they're they're branching out even more in this in these videos and live live shows crazy i covered it last week all the live shows they're doing now but these coverage on the scene of like maker fair and stuff i predict right now that adafruit the media company which doesn't exist yet but there will be adafruit the media company and it already kind of does exist and they will do extremely well this is a huge space we're in in the maker hacker inventor tech space that's why you guys are here that's why i'm here we're all into tech they do an awesome job of covering it and they're branching out more and more with this great content and showing us the things we want to see good job adafruit keep it up you are going to be a contender DIY Pete guys this is a cool video uh, cool channel I found this week it wasn't a subscriber again 24,000 subscribers on this channel it's a big channel really really cool how to make an LED concrete patio table with built-in cooler the long and the short of it is is check out this channel because it, awesome projects really really neat maker stuff uh, more along the lines of I think the uh, larger maybe not necessarily carpentry but bigger builds rather than electronics but obviously incorporating electronics too really really cool channel uh, i had never heard of him uh, before until this week when i found him through a, another photography channel really really cool um yeah it was actually a channel i was watching how to use my canon 70d and uh he had actually commented and uh, i always hover over the names in in comments always do guys and i've mentioned it here before hover over the names and comments when you're on your pc and see if they have a youtube channel because the people who comment and the people who engage generally i find are great content creators themselves um that just silly things i notice check out his channel okie dokie guys the hacksmith i already mentioned him lots on this channel tons and tons of cool content the exoskeleton all kinds of stuff this week he put out a video on how to get free solar panels uh this is more geared towards i think you probably have to live in ontario but i suspect other states and provinces will have companies doing much the same thing um, pretty neat coverage of his new solar panels check it out guys i think you'll like it and i can catch up on the chat real quick Steven said Adafruit can be bought in our local tech, tech store in the UK now. Awesome stuff, Steven. That is great news. One second, guys. There's my, yeah, I think, yeah, my light just went dead. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that is super cool. I love where Adafruit is headed as a business, and I know they'll succeed just because uh, I've spoken with them at length and they are just that great of people, but they do such a good job. So they deserve this success. I'm, I'm loving how they're getting out there and I love that they're producing the actual Arduino brand now. It's totally cool. I'm a fanboy of them. They, they deserve it. They're companies that I like to stand behind and it's one of the few. So, uh, yeah. Zach said Adafruit is awesome. I wish they didn't charge so much to ship to Canada. Yeah, the prices are well, over border shipping is what it is. It's yeah, it sucks for us, but it's totally worth it sometimes just to support them. And yeah, one of these days, one of these days. All right, guys, let's go. Bud Churchwald an awesome awesome channel if you're into uh, amateur radio of any form he does a great job guys so this video um, it's not an uncommon topic in amateur radio using slinkies as a, as a radio antennas and uh, he did a really really great job it's a long video but uh, he took the the software defined radios hooked it up as a, a short wave listening and used a slinky as an indoor antenna a very very good job on it um 
check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. It was pretty cool. And I'm just going to, I'm going to skip this slide, guys. So um, in the comments of that video, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Go check out the comments of the video. And uh, yeah, there's a good read in there from someone who I used to feature on this channel. And I used to be a subscriber until their negativity got to me so bad that basically I'm not a subscriber. But I was going to share their comments because it was a little funny. But ah, let's stay away from that negative stuff today. All right, let's see. And lots of chat. Not going to keep up. Let's go. This is a Canadian channel. I don't think I've ever featured them here before. Cottage Life DIY. Easy to find on YouTube. These guys, uh, I believe they're from Nova Scotia and. Uh, they make really cool stuff. This one, this one was just uh, pool noodle weapons, just more of a, a, a lark video. But on here, they do really cool stuff like converting ship tainers to a garage at your cottage or a floating swim up bar for your cottage. Lots of really neat stuff. Uh, cottage life is a big deal where I come from here. And uh, we get short summers and we like to have cool toys to play with. Well, these guys make some awesome content. Uh, very professionally made videos too. So check it out, guys. 175,000 subscribers. So yeah, that explains that they, they deserve it. Uh, I'm just going to catch the chat because something just caught my eye. DJ Redder is here. Hey, DJ, good to see you. Zach says his normal reviews and teardowns are great too. Pixel 3D. Noe and Pedro here. Finally caught you. Great show, Eric. Guys, we've got a celebrity here. Again, can't say enough about Adafruit and the content they create. Well, Noe and Pedro do awesome 3d printing they have their own live show and they were kind enough to join us today very very cool good to have you guys glad you made it um i've been I had a couple of traded messages with uh with noe and pedro on i think instagram maybe and maybe even twitter uh, awesome guys you guys got to check them out on uh on some of their other social medias guys lots of cool stuff on instagram too really really good content creators guys i'm uh, glad you could join tonight really really cool glad to have you here Okay, guys, let's go. Computing Forever. This is a channel I've subscribed to for a long time. Dave does a great job on this channel. He's gone out of his way to support this channel as well. Just another great content creator. I love a lot of his videos. So this week, this one really caught my eye, guys. How are we on time? Yeah, we're good. So he put out the video on this app called People, which is about to be released. And I am sad to say this is coming from two Canadian women. Uh, I'm a little ashamed that this came out of Canuckland. Uh, it's an app for rating people, regardless of the, you, they don't have permission, anything. You can just put somebody's name out there and say whatever you like about it. What do you guys think of an app like that? Like, unbelievable. I was just jaw dropped. So, was, so he put out this awesome video explaining it. <laughs> and uh, I am just oh, cool there we go sorry I lost track of my my feed here so I went snooping and checked out their Twitter uh, and Facebook so uh, this is some info from this people app um, guys this is gonna be uh, you, you gotta check this out long story short the world is trying to tell them something and we're all outraged for a reason so anyone their, their their question was how to prevent people from posting on the comments on their facebook page and uh, people responded founder of people an app designed to collect unsolicited feedback does not appear to like unsolicited feedback yep that was a good point well it gets even better their Facebook, 100 beta, beta testers a minute signing up. Uh, they were quite proud that uh, 13 people liked the fact that they had 100 beta testers a minute. Well, the first person to point out with 273 thumbs up, I think you will find that most of them are not signing up to help you. Do you think? An app designed to say bad things. Well, we all know it's going to be say bad things about other people uh, going out there. Yeah unbelievable the internet is speaking back here it gets even better 
They say we can no longer respond to all your comments on this page. You can find them on the website, blah, blah, blah. And the first response, if you can't keep up with this page, how the hell are you going to be able to moderate this monstrosity once it is nationwide? 440 thumbs up. People, actually, who knew? Um, the real people out there, humans, are outraged by this crap. So one last one, guys, I got to share it. So somebody made an imitation Twitter feed for them. Uh, they signed up a Twitter account. Warning, at People for Peace is not our account and is impersonating us and using our picture and will be soon taken down by Twitter. Uh, first big comment back. How nice is it that you have the power to stop someone using your likeness without your permission? They said it all. Uh, guys, uh, whenever you see the crap like this going on and it's socially irresponsible, it is our duty to speak up, I think, especially as people of the, the tech world. This one's kind of funny and kind of bridges the gap. It's more into the social world, but at the, at the same time, it is an app and we know what the internet will do with it. So I had to share that, guys. Dave did an awesome video on it. Pretty funny stuff. And David said, people sounds horrendous. Yeah, it does. It is truly the worst idea I've heard in a long time. I'm rather ashamed that it came out of Canada, but I hope they listen. If I was getting that much negative feedback on like a video or a project I was doing, I would quite quickly listen to you guys. Like, there's trolls out there and people that, well, the trolls that will use that app, but uh, there's people that just say negative things. But for the most part, if you get like 400 negative comments, well, you better rethink your business plan or your project or whatever it may be. Scott said that could get slanderous. Absolutely. And they will get sued, I hope, um, quite quickly. Ruben is here. Hey, Ruben, good to see you. <laughs> uh, Scott said that would be even funnier if you talked about that other person's that, that talk bad about the other person's comment <laughs> all right guys let's carry on what do we got here barnacles um guys goes without saying you got to be subscribed to this channel barnacles nerdgasm so it was really cool coverage of him at the world maker fair and he did a q a video on 3d printing 15 minute long video and I thought it it should be shared here, but can't think of anyone, um, other maybe Noe and Pedro that are here, that do it for a living nonstop. I can't think of anyone else who, who's doing YouTube channels besides these two um, channels that that would have more authority on the topic. Barnacles is a uh, tech guy, but he's he's got tons of 3D printers that he's been sponsored with lately and he's just been cranking out the 3D prints and that by nature teaches us things so he's got a lot of good stuff to say and shared a lot of good knowledge here thought it was great check it out guys Andre Russo uh, channel I don't know whether I've ever shared here before um, a small channel uh, he is local to me does a lot of RC stuff did a great video this week on the review of the Mobius action camera I have a video on this coming as well Andre did a great job uh, my video I'm going to try and take this away from the RC um, side this is the this is the Mobius action camera uh, awesome little cameras guys uh, I got this one uh, sent to me free for review and uh, I already had one so that's why I knew I could take one um, I'm gonna try and show off a little bit of uh, how I use it and other uses beyond RC but Andre did a great job on his guys check out his video check out his channel I think you'll enjoy it along the lines of remote control stuff this is really cool build uh, RC test flight an awesome channel um, pretty popular channel he did a video recently on converting an RC plane to solar and he ran into trouble and uh, it didn't work out too well for him but he learned from it so now he's on to revision 2 of this solar plane I believe and he's doing it's it's just really cool to see somebody taking a scratch built RC plane powering it by solar with a brushless motor and just pushing the limits just for the sake of doing it and uh, yeah see, I think you guys will like it all right guys and I think we're Ken's here. Hey, Ken. Do, do, do. I think I'm caught up. Too much chat. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, 
I did mention before, sorry, there isn't uh, show notes for these videos lately uh, with direct links to all these channels. That's why I try and go full screen on them so you guys can just look them up. I just don't have the bandwidth to do all that anymore. Hamrad88, Tom, another awesome amateur radio channel. You can check out his channel. Uh, he puts out content every couple of days. Constant good stuff coming out of Tom's channel. Um, this week, he did a... Uh, he often talks about YouTube and the trials and tribulations with uh, what he's struggling with, uh, the constant changes in YouTube, and we all uh, run through the same stuff as content creators. So, uh, Tom, stick with it uh, when you see this. I don't think he's with us tonight, but uh, when you see this, Tom, stick with it. The notifications are going to be a problem because we are no longer using G Plus with YouTube. So, go to your community section in your video manager and you'll be much better off uh, managing comments there. As for subscription feeds, yeah, good luck. It's uh, We're not all getting notifications. Alright guys, this is a new channel uh, I don't think I've featured before. Uh, Great Scott, 117,000 subscribers. He's a big channel too. This is big in my opinion. Awesome, awesome video this week on uh, a DIY cooler using Peltier junctions, using uh, TECs, Tex, uh, thermoelectric coolers. I love these things. Guys, you've seen me play with them on the videos here on this channel. Um, partial to making little projects with them. Well, he made a pretty cool little mini fridge out of it, and I have no doubt it works quite well. Um, they're not the most efficient things, the Tex, but they're, they're fun to play with. So check out the video, guys. I think you will like it. And too much comments. I don't think I'm even going to keep up. All right, guys. What do we got next? Maybe I can quickly check the comments. Need drink anyway. Zach said he's thinking of getting a GoPro Hero from the local Walmart. <laughs> I, I love the... I've just got the Hero 2s back there. I still use them. I used the Hero 2 in uh, the footage of my first or second vlog video last week. Um, works great. And yeah, the new the new GoPros are quite expensive. So yeah, what do you do? What do you do? Let's go, guys. Wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. I think we're good. From the shop this week, guys. This is stuff from this channel. If you didn't see it, I got the hoverboard video out. What a fun toy. Uh, this thing is just a riot. Um, be careful if you get a hoverboard. Uh, my wife did not do so well. She is uh, down for the count with a pretty busted up wrist. Not happy with the hoverboard whatsoever. I love it, but uh, her not so much. Jig mod. These are the small electronic modules. Um, these are the Kickstarter. You can check out the video. I published this on Saturday, I believe. And a uh, really cool little modular electronics device. Uh, I think he did a, a great job. He's local to me. He sent me these free of charge to just do a video on just to check them out. And uh, I have to say, it was pretty cool. Just the ATX power supply adapter alone struck me as just brilliant. So uh, I had a lot of fun with them. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll maybe see if we can use them in some upcoming videos as well. I did a vlog video yesterday. Um, this was a Saturday. I went down to a local uh, Clydesdale uh, horse competition. This is a worldwide competition. It was local to me, only an hour away. Uh, the wife won tickets, so we checked it out. Um, I made a I made a vlog video on it, guys, and I can honestly say um, I can honestly say this. I'm I love the uh, the sender edited portion of this video more than any other video I've ever done on this channel. I do these vlogs now to learn um, and and push myself out of my comfort zone and do more content for you guys and get better with video and editing. And I think it's, uh, from my my personal opinion, it, it's definitely helping me. No question, it really pushes me along. But this one, I horses may not be your thing but and they're not really mine but um, I think I was able to convey the the sentiment and the story that I wanted better than I have ever done on a video ever so I was pretty proud of it the video went live yesterday check it out if you're interested uh, it's only I have a separate playlist for my vlogs on the channel now so hope you guys enjoy All right, guys 
What are we, how are we up for time? Yeah, we're all right. We're in good time. Beginner's tech said I would kill myself on a hoverboard. Yeah, they're, they're not hard to balance on at all. I totally intuitive. I had the hang of it in no time. I love the thing. It was great, but uh, the wife, not so much. Pixel 3D, uh, Noam Pedro said, our low battery notification stopped working and it drops dead without warning. Be cautious. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of bad if it just stopped and you do one of these over the front. It's good to know. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some modifications on it. We'll do some mod vids coming up. <laughs> David, right away. Sounds like a mod vid or an opportunity for a mod. Absolutely. Cool. All right, guys, let's carry on. Let's go. What do we got next? Sneak peeks, guys. I owe you a mailbag video. It is photographed, and I need to edit it. I will. More vlog videos coming up, guys. Um, pretty excited about these. Uh, may not be your thing, but ah, I'm, I'm having a blast with them. There will be one more video coming up on the gas sensor project, the Hackaday Prize one. Um, I We're kind of supposed to do a final video. I think I have enough coverage in my early videos to cover the finals video, but I do want to cut a separate video and um, just more or less a, a finalization of the product, project and clarify things because I did mismarket this thing. It is not just for emergency workers. It's actually more geared towards miners and industry workers and um, sewer, uh, anyone who has to go into sewers like uh, electrical, phone, all those repairmen. So I, I want to do a quick video and clarify a few things. So I apologize. One more video on this project coming, guys, and then I think I'm going to stop with them. A lot of fun with that project, though. Really enjoyed it. And I think we're good. Tech tip of the week, guys. Nothing groundbreaking today, but something that came up with uh, two people um, just in random conversation lately, power supplies. Something that gets drastically underestimated is these laptop style power bricks. So as you know, I have a benchtop power supply. Before that, I used the the PC, uh, your standard computer power supplies and made them work great for some projects. Well, this, these things are fantastic. If you have uh, an IT center or a recycler or a thrift store sometimes have these or e-waste, because these things end up in the junk all the time. This particular one, I don't remember what brand of laptop it was for because it is a little odd that it's 12 volt. Um, a lot of them are like 18 volt. Uh, the HPs I think are 18 or 19 volt, but this is six amps. This is a crazy power supply. Don't throw these in the junk. These were great for projects. And if you're stuck with one of the ones that's like 19 volts, a simple buck converter from eBay will get you down to whatever voltage you want to run on. And you can buy like a five or a six amp buck converter for a reasonable amount of money. They're a little big, so you may want to do a 3D printed case and tack onto the end of it maybe. But don't throw these things out. These things are great for projects. My urban kitchen garden, Runs off of one of these. That's the tech tip of the week for this week, guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, yeah, some agreement already. He has 10 of them. And snag power supplies from any time. Anything I can get them. Great tip. Thanks, Zach. Awesome, guys. Glad you enjoyed that. I, I try not to save too much junk. It's so easy to get your workshop just full of just piles and piles of junk but there are some things that definitely should never hit landfill and power supplies power supplies like these that are modular csa or ul listed good approved things that aren't going to light anything on fire high amperage yeah don't ever let them hit the landfill totally handy for projects later on guys a couple of viewer comments this week nothing major this week guys just a couple of things i thought i'd share and quickly answer here mr dollywall said on the hoverboard video you built this diy projector and I, I thought this was worth sharing because i haven't showed that projector set up much in a couple of my videos no i didn't build any of it it's a, a benq w500 nothing major projector with just a one of those roll down screens on the wall 
um, because it was cheaper to buy the roll down screen than it was to buy the paint to paint the wall the highly reflective super duper paint so yeah nothing diy there this one i get constantly guys so in this case long story short i won't pronounce his name because i will get it completely wrong rating the data sheet of the mq 135 sensor which is different than my mq2s basically they want to read all the gases and keep them have them output in separately i guys um all my videos that I do code for, in this case, uh, it already does this. It outputs it via serial, but all the Arduino and Raspberry Pi, any project I do, I share the code open source. I make a point of doing that 100% now because there's no point in me sharing something that someone can't reproduce. So in the description for these videos it is a link to the code. More so important is within that code uh, I try and comment the heck out of everything so other people can reproduce it but if if it doesn't have a clear explanation you can just google the libraries that are included in this case the MQ2 gas sensor I'm using a, another third-party library that was given away open source and you want to just I, I include links directly to their web page whenever possible, but you want to check out their libraries and their documentation and possibly engage with them either via YouTube or via their GitHub or wherever and uh, just hit them up. So uh, I get these comments nonstop, get tons and tons of them every day. There's more comments. Where do I get the code? How do I do this? How do I do that? Um, uh, definitely check the descriptions read through the code itself, engage with the library makers if they're third party, such as Adafruit. I use tons of Adafruit libraries in my projects and they have extensive documentation in their, on their website. You can easily find it there. So really good questions. I love the comments. I love when people leave feedback. So just trying to answer some questions live here. Wrong button. What do we got here? And Scott said I have a remote gas sensor now in an urban garden. <laughs> cool. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm not going to keep up with that, guys. We are running low on time because I have to finish up just a tiny bit early tonight. Let's go. Some closing thoughts tonight, guys. So this was a little funny. I, I thought this worth sharing. Um this audience might shake their head more than anyone. I saw this come across Twitter today. Uh, actually, I saw it in multiple places. Uh, 4chan trolling campaign, um, getting people to show pictures of them peeing their pants to support rape victims. Guys, don't fall for these... Whenever anything... Uh, says to post a picture in support of something where you're not directly making money or going out getting pledges or running some miles or biking on a bike uh, it's best not to even get involved in this garbage this was a complete trolling campaign by 4chan uh, and it worked there are a pile of girls out there that are posting these pictures to support uh, what they thought was supporting rape victims and it ends up it it's, doesn't this is just a mess so uh, as tech enthusiasts and people in the know and generally all around all of us nerds uh it's up to us to let people know don't get involved in this crap <laughs> just stay away from it <laughs> i thought that worth sharing guys you could uh, go check that out on on twitter today it's not hard to find just crazy uh, Zach asks, what camera is on the top shelf behind you? Uh, one is my Pentax K200D, and the other is the Canon 70D that I just got. And, yeah. Um, 4chan should be just wiped off the internet with a tactical nuke. Good luck with that, yeah. Nothing good comes out of 4chan, yeah. Yeah, I can't disagree one bit the place is messed up and this stuff comes out and people get involved that i just like wow got a better i would much rather build something cool and 3d print something or build an electronics project than troll people but hey whatever it's up to us to maybe point this stuff out to the less technically savvy people out there or whatever anyway guys 
that is it for tonight. I'm really, really glad you guys could join me tonight. It was a fun, fun show. I always enjoy these. Remember to hit me up on any of the social media platforms. You can find me on my website on the about page. Um, guys, uh, thanks for all your support um, on the channel with your likes and comments and just general feedback. I truly value it. I'm trying to really, really trying to change the 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 quality of my videos and where this channel is headed and just keep stepping it up. I'm really enjoying doing it and I uh, love these live shows with you guys. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's kind of the highlight of my week. It truly is. So hopefully you guys have a fantastic week. Build something cool this week. Share it with the world. Guys, whenever possible, do it open source. Just really, it, it does change the world and uh, just put yourself out there. Give it a try. Truly appreciate everything, guys. Good luck in all your ventures. Cheers.